we put a given amount of simple dye in the water. And we're going to turn around and we're going to adjust. Thank you, Bob. That valve right there. They give us a little back pressure. And what we're going to simulate is contact time. Now it's very limited because the contact time will only be after that injector right to that valve. But as an example, if you had a big contact tank, the effect would be much more dramatic. But we're going to show and time the removal of the die with, con with that valve partially closed to simulate contact time. In other words, we're back pressuring the unit. And then we're going to time it, same amount of die, without that valve closed. And we will give you the times. This will show exactly how long it takes. What I'm trying to prove to you folks, very simply, is that contact time has a dramatic effect on the removal. There are three, there are several things that govern solubility of ozone and water. That are pressure, concentration of the ozone, the size of the bubble, and the temperature of the water. Since we cannot control the temperature of the water, we can't control the size of the bubble, we can't control pressure, and we can control the type of ozone we're using by simply using a generator capable of high concentrations. This is what we're doing. With that in mind, we will now start this test. And we will time it. Bob, you're going to tell us when this is clear, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to walk over here and take a look anyway. Again, this is with a slight amount of back pressure. No filtration, filter's blocked. It's simply ozone. Notice the after the injector. It's clear already. Yeah. That's how fast the ozone is working. You notice it's colored there. Ozone gets injected right there. You'll notice it's clear there. Now back. You tell me when you consider it adequate, Bob. Is clear. Tank is clear. How long, Bob? One minute, 19 seconds. Amount of dye. Four is in there now. Okay. You're now going to open up that valve so there will be no back pressure, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, and I'm going to get ready to do the second test. We're going to zero the watch. Zero. We are ready. Ready? That's it. Go. Then we'll go over. Show that it's nice and green. Show that there is no back pressure. What we're doing is basically trying to demonstrate the effect of back pressure or contact time. Pressure and contact time are just slightly different because we're back pressuring it with that valve right there. So a contact chamber, of course, would be extended contact time. And, of course, we would have more back pressure because we'd have a more powerful pump. But nevertheless, this will demonstrate to you that, in fact, it works. Our next demonstration is the hook quantity of the bad water here into this machine and hook up a larger ozone generator. This unit here is capable of making 9.65 grams per hour and we will then time it and show what we did on it. You 
tell me when you think it's the same color, Bob? How long did it take? One minute, 45 seconds. There's the difference, folks. From one minute and 19 seconds to one minute and 45 seconds. Back pressure and residence time have a dramatic effect on the reduction of contaminants in water. Here's the living proof right in front of your eyes.